What is the extent of European and American influence on the political landscape of South American countries today? In the independence movement, when they, when the royalists, when the white settlers were able to defeat the the people who were the colonials who were working for the crown, the royalists, when when they were defeated, the system, the political system that they created was based around the uh, French republican system, uh, the parliaments, the, the the laws, the policies. Uh, everything were basically a copied and in, in, uh, were exact copies of, of what the, the French had done uh, in the Republican era. Uh, and since then, it's it's a very similar system where you have uh, two, three very powerful parties, usually two, the Conservatives and the Liberals. Uh, two very powerful parties who, who control who control the political system. Um, I'd say, yeah, like the 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 very essence of the political systems all around our continent are based around European ideas, uh, European ways of doing things. Uh, the whole idea of democracy, which I think is a farce. Uh, you can't have democracy in. In colonial society, is it's impossible. It's contradictory, um, and and that's why I think, sadly, even though I love Bolivia, Bolivia's movement today, uh, Bolivia's government, who who you know who are doing so much for our people and and, and Venezuelans, um, but I think ultimately because of them operating under that same. Uh, political uh, system or that polit- the, the the idea that we we have to be democratic um, is it, it, bound to failure. It's bound to fail we, simply simply because we need to. Um, I believe uh, through through the research I've done, uh, through you know through talking with other uh, revolutionary minded colonized people. I believe that our liberation will only come through completely overthrowing the colonial system. Ideally, it would be peaceful. Uh, realistically, it won't be peaceful. Uh, and what we see in Cuba is that they were able to violently overthrow a colonial system and replace, completely replace it, completely build up a political system that is in no way similar to to uh, uh, Europe's uh, imperialist Europe's colonial system so and and that should be the kind of government the kind of political system we should be working towards also in terms of um, the influences from Europe and the and the US is that uh, I, I think Colombia is a example again uh, you have very close ties uh, European government and the United States government with, with the Colombian government, uh, they get um, political assistance. So th- there's always political uh, assistance. That's what they call them to, to go and and help the Colombian government with policies and, and help direct the country politically, together with military assistance. And and what we would say because this is often seen as a um, as a neo-colonial relationship, or as an imperialist uh, attack on Colombia, but the, the way I would explain it, if we see it historically, if it is more accurately, if we explain it as a um, relationship between the local colonial government, which operates within Colombia, and the foreign colonial governments who are outside of Colombia, so they, so they're working together. It's, it's an attack on, on our people, but it's not an attack on the political system because they're working together. They help each other out, you know, the, they complement each other. Uh, and it's like that in the majority of the, of, of the continent.